Hey. I was afraid you weren't going to make it. I promised I'd come. Hey there. Mm -hmm. What you looking at? I missed you. He missed you, too. Um, I want to I want to show you something. This is the name of a nurse who was with us in Africa. She saw the accident happen. She was there when Anne-Marie died. Did you find her? No, not yet, but I'm not going to stop looking until I do. I want to believe you. Then what's stopping you? I told you somebody tampered with the answer. It was machine. very threatening, Ian. Well, I would never threaten you. I love you. In my heart, I know that, but I'm... You're scared. So am I. But listen to what's in your heart, okay? You know, last night was truly a cosmic experience. Yes, it was. Well, you were. Okay, well then, why are you acting like an angry old bear and not grinning from ear to ear? Because I was lying there holding you last night, and I just started to get so damn angry. Uh-oh. I must really be losing my touch. You were right, Lucy. There is something out there jerking us all around, and it just got to me. Doc, this, this is great. So that means whether it's some creepy, evil, sinister force or some earthly enemy, you're on it. Better watch out, because my doc is going to get it. Yeah, if it wants a fight, it's going to get one. I'm going to be damned if I'm going to let it screw with anybody that I care about. Jack? Jack, where are you? Don't be frank. I'm here now. No, I want Jack. Why? Because he's gonna help me. Oh, Olivia, he's not even capable of helping himself. Come on. You don't belong here. No, I'm not going with you. Not this time. First thing I'm gonna do is track down Anne Marie or whoever the hell she is. I'm gonna get the truth out of her if I have to Wait, string her no, up by no, her toes. No, 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 Doc, listen to me. Your your determination is very impressive, not to mention kind of sexy here, but I think we need to start with logic. You're counseling me to be logical. Now I know there's an evil force out there. Uh, no, I'm just saying that whatever it is we're up against is pretty damn powerful. So I did a little homework. You see, I uh I woke up kind of in the middle of the night. Oh, I see. You couldn't sleep either. No. Well, actually, I couldn't. So, this is what I did. I kind of went over everything that's happened since Caleb supposedly bit the dust. It helped us catch Caleb the last time, so it's a good place to start. Right. Okay, so, what we have here is everybody who helped defeat, we thought, Count Dracula. Look, there's even Ian, you and me, and Livy and Jack. And one thing we all have in common, all of our lives are falling apart. Let me do it before you break something. Oh, whatever happened to coffee pots? <laughs> uh, all I want to do is make a simple cup of coffee for Libby and Whoa. this thing. I don't know what this thing is. Libby's here? Um, yeah, she spent the night last night. Wow, um, I'm surprised that you can forgive her after how badly she hurt you. Well, it's not like we're back together. I'm just helping Libby try to figure out what's going on with her. That's all. Jack, hello, it's me. 
You really, really want this to work out, don't you? Allison, I do love her. Okay, but I don't have my blinders on anymore. And I've realized that maybe love's not enough. Yes, but it is awfully hard to walk away from now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, last night I was <clears throat> watching her sleep and she looks so happy, so peaceful, so beautiful. And I wanted to... To, um, make love to her? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, that too, but there's more than that. I, I wanted to get inside her head and figure out what's going on with her. I mean, she's living this nightmare, you know? And half the time, she doesn't even know what she's doing when she's awake. Mm -hmm. I swear, sometimes I wish Caleb was still alive. Jack, don't even think that. No, no, at least he's an enemy I can see that I can fight. Right now, there's this darkness that's come over Libby, and, and how do you fight that when, when you can't even understand it? You're just tired, sweetheart. You're not thinking clearly. It's not true. Not since Jack's been helping me. You and I both know I'm the only one who can take care of you. And then why do I feel so much better when I'm with him? Did you feel so much better when he walked out on you? That's because I heard him. And Jack is willing to help me. Now that's real love. You just set yourself up for more heartache, sweetheart. Think about it. These people have always hurt you. When you turned to them before, what did they do? They just tried to control you. You're just protecting me. How? How? By locking you in your room like a child. And who knows what they'll do this time. Maybe they'll throw away the key. Or better yet, maybe they'll have you committed like they did to your mother. No, stop it! You're twisting things. Jack promised he'd help me. And I promised you eternal life. A life with more pleasures than these people could ever even dream of. And I keep telling you all I need, all I want is Jack. Fine. Then have him. But I wouldn't count on him being there forever. You know only I can give you that. But you'll never know. It's okay, sweetie. Here we go. I'm just so confused. When I look in your eyes, I see how much you love me. I can't fake that. But that woman said you looked at her the same way. And you believed her. She said that you wanted her, not just for one night, but for always. She used the exact same words that you said to me. Well, I don't know where she got that. But how? How could she know? I don't know. You're the love of my life. I, I want to spend the rest of my days with you. I want that, too. I really do, but... But what? You're going to throw all that away because a woman is lying to you. Do you think this is easy for me? No, I don't. Not for a minute. When I'm not with you, I feel like... I'm walking around with half of my heart and my soul. And the other half is with you. Think about it. All the lifetimes we fought through just to be here. We even have the same dreams. You know, that, that kind of love doesn't come around very often. I know, but... Well, then let's fight for it. Believe in it. Let's treasure this. And this thing. The restraining order. It's just a piece of paper. Only you can keep me away. And only you can keep us apart. How did we get to this point?
We know that you love Livy. She loves you. Okay, so now just the question is, where do we go from here? How do you help her? Well, for starters, I told her I think she needs to talk to her dad. Okay, that's good. But the more I thought about it, I mean, we've all been affected by Caleb. There's a lot of people who have been affected by him. So maybe we should all go? I, I think everybody on Caleb's hit list should go sit down and talk to Kevin. Okay, yeah, so that could be maybe sort of like a um, vampire therapy session. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that could be good. Yeah, sure. Fun. Yeah. Excuse me. Hello. Yeah. Oh, that's good news. Good. Yeah, um, I, I really appreciate your help with this. Okay, I'll talk to you. <clears throat> so, you know. What was that about? Um, nothing. Nothing? Yeah. Okay. What? So then what's the uh, solemn look for? Look, I went to ask my friend a favor, okay? It, my friend works for one of the, the family judges in town, and I just asked if she could maybe find the names of the people that adopted Valerie's baby. Uh, Alice, why did you do I'm that? I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, but I just can't get it out of my mind. Livy's suspicions that Jamal may be the father of Valerie's Look, baby. Allison, listen to me. Don't screw up what you have with Jamal. That's the last thing then drop that this. I want. Then drop this whole thing now. Don't ruin what you have because some stupid thing Livy said. But trust me, Allison. Just let it go. Leave me then. Because I had a good life before you, Caleb. Your life was nothing before I found you. It was an illusion. A fairy tale told to keep you in line. No, oh, I had a family and a man who loved me. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Your father locked you up. Your mother lied to you. And Jack, amongst other things, told you you were too psycho for him. Is that your definition of unconditional love, Olivia? If you put your faith in mortals, what you fear most in this world will come true. They'll leave you, and you'll be alone. They won't. They won't. They will. It's called human nature. Okay, please don't. Oh, you made your choice, Olivia. Now you can live with it. But no one thing rest of your life. You'll miss me. No, please. Just stay with me, please. I've given you this time to get over Jack, and where's it gotten me? What is there for me to stay for? Me. I'm sorry. I, I didn't hear that. Me. Caleb, you get me. Then prove to me that you've learned your lesson. go of this obsession that I have of Jamal maybe being the father of Valerie's baby. Yeah, you do, before it blows up in your face. I know. I just I need to stop dragging up the past. Yeah, but don't say that so I don't bust you. No, I, no, I mean it. 
And with all due respect, I mean, all I have to do is look at what you and Livy are going through to realize how lucky I am. Allison, you and Jamal have a good thing going. I know. Don't mess it up. I know. And I'm really sorry to sort of dump all this on you, especially when you have your own problems that you need to deal with. Hey, you know what? That's what friends are for. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh. Um, uh, so why don't you bring this to her right. before it gets Guffy. cold? Yeah, well, why don't you come hot. with me and say hello? Are you sure? Yeah, you know, the more she sees, the more of us into it, and together, the, the more, the better, and she'll feel. Okay, let's let's yeah. go. Come okay, on. that's good. Livy? Well, uh, maybe she's in the bathroom. Uh, she's not in there. I changed my mind. I don't want your help. I don't want anything from you. Done good. We've got all the cards up here of things that happened since Caleb kissed that lightning bolt. Let's let's maybe should we review? Okay. Well, okay. there was Jack's surge of strength that we know about. Right. Livy being bitten by the snake that, that we found in Caleb's catacombs. Right. 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 And, and not to mention Rafe's brush with evil right here with that mirror. Yeah, but right how in room. is that connected to Eve freaking out because she was afraid someone was after Daniel or all that business with Anne Marie and Ian? Oh wow. You know what? I think we're gonna need a whole other board. And more importantly the letter Anne-Marie wrote to me incriminating Ian. Right. Not to mention the fact that she showed up in your car and at Eve's house. Not to mention the conflicting stories she told me and Eve. Right. And now Eve and Ian are sort of splitsville. <sighs> There's one more card. I know. I know. Christina, I, uh... I made up the card. I have it right here. There. Okay. Oh. Doc, I swear to you, I really thought what I saw in that hotel was real. I thought I saw her. I know, but it wasn't. Maybe not, but whoever's doing this or whatever's doing this is really good, aren't they? Because they know that's the one thing I want more than anything else in this whole world. I'm going to make us some coffee. It's going to take a while. Oh, um, I got it. Hello? Girl. Christine? Christine, baby, is that really you? I love you. I'm sorry I doubted you. We're back. I can't believe I let some strange woman fill my head with lies about you. It's not your That's fault. So stupid. Someone went through a lot of trouble to make me look guilty, and I'm gonna find out who it was. No, we're gonna find out. Okay, the two of us together, which is how it should have been from the very beginning. Come here. I love you.
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Poor Charles. Tempted. Poor Charles. You've been targeted just like She's the rest of us. She's out to me. She's trying to get to me. I, I, I gotta go find Christina. She needs Lucy. me. I gotta find Christina. Call 911. Get the cops. I'm gonna go look for them. Oh, you gotta hurry. Daniel! If you missed Caleb's chilling arrival in Port Charles, you can flash back to Port Charles' tainted love. Tuesday through Thursday at 7 p.m. 4 Pacific. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.